All right, guys, welcome back to another Cichlidscape video. Fish room is looking good right now. 55 gallon angelfish planter tank needs filled up, but besides that, it is looking really, really nice. Paladarium underneath the 125 is looking lovely too, and a lot of the plants are growing in awesome, especially the moss on that back wall. Really, really liking this. Hopefully, I'll Get to move it upstairs at some point soon just to have it a bit more uh, on display but today we are adding two fish to the 125 gallon tank and they are both in that bag so uh yeah let's go so we got the fish out of the bag and we are currently drip acclimating them just a steady flow of water coming through there, getting them used to the water of the tank that they will be going in. And I think they should be pretty happy in here. Um, I've had the angelfish in there now for a long time. I've got some other species or subspecies of this fish in the 125 too. So um, definitely not worried about that. And I'm really excited to see how they look in here. I think the size of these fish is going to be awesome and after they've been acclimating for about 15 20 minutes it is time to introduce them i'm going to try and get both of them at the same time uh yep got them happy days and let's see how they interact with the other fish in the tank if you hadn't already guessed it from the initial video at the start these are jurapari i haven't had these before but they are again a type of geophagus similar to the the tapahoes or the uh, satanapoca daemon could go either way on that one but really really like the body shape i think they are going to be awesome i am slightly worried about the the daemon um, just because of that body shape, they are very similar. Um, so I think he might feel a bit threatened by these two because they are a little bigger, but hopefully after a little bit of time, he should be okay. So we're just going to keep tabs on them for the first hour or two just to see uh, how it goes and, and hopefully all goes well. I'm going to actually give... The fish in the tank a little bit of food right now as well just to keep them thinking about something else rather than thinking about the new fish that we just added so um yeah i'm gonna hold tight hang out down here in the fish room and hopefully get back to you in a little while uh once things have settled down and and i'll uh, i'll show you the jurapari close-up they are really awesome fish I've gone over what I do when I'm adding cichlids to a tank previously, and I'll link that video up above, but I always add some live bacteria just to help with the bio load. Whenever you're adding fish, you are adding to that bio load, so I like adding bacteria. And I also add Melifix as well, which is just to help chill the fish out a little bit, make them relax. It does um, benefit them in terms of the, the stress coat, um, and any kind of fin damage that they might get from some of the other fish in the tank as well. So add those, chill out, and hopefully these fish will be good to go in no time and just be a part of the pack. That's the, that's the hope anyway. So after a few hours, the fish seem to be settling in quite nicely. Um, this one, the Satanoperca daemon, is causing a few issues and he is chasing them around. I did kind of suspect that, but... I'm hopeful that this will subside over time. Um, he's got one of them over here and the other one underneath the big piece of driftwood. Um, they don't seem too stressed out right now, but like I said, hopefully that, that does stop and he stops chasing them. Um, at the same time, they are kind of just getting used to the new surroundings and kind of sussing out the tank and seeing where they can go, seeing where they can't go, because every single fish has got a little bit of territory in this tank. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm going to actually turn the lights off now um, for the rest of the day. And then I'll come back tomorrow, take some more video, and hopefully they'll be doing good. Fingers crossed. The next day, here we are. Both of them seem to be getting along pretty nicely. 
the Satanapurka Dama has chilled out with them. They don't seem to be having any issues with any of the other fish. And they have coloured up really, really nicely that kind of lateral line. Um, some people call it kind of like a stress line has completely disappeared and they look to be right at home. So I am absolutely buzzing with these two. I think they look awesome. I'm uh, definitely happy with the purchase. So if you've got any thoughts on this tank, got any thoughts on the Jurapari, had any experience with them before, please let me know down in the comments. And for now, let's take a look at them up close. We'll end this video with a nice little feeding, and as you can see, a day later, they are killing it, eating the food. I'm feeding Omega One Flake food right now, really like it, and they seem to like it too. So, happy days, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.